Hey hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Buried One. In today's video I'm gonna make a short video about why Bitcoin and the other crypto prices have dropped so significantly. Because a lot of people are asking me about this and actually the explanation is pretty short and simple but this is more like a big chain reaction. Before I start the video, I want to show you guys something new. On buried1.com we added an ASIC profit calculator and a GPU profit calculator. This is actually something very new as a lot of people don't know anything about ASIC miners and everything around it like hash rates and whatsoever. So we made it very simple for you guys. The only thing you need to fill in is your electricity cost. So for example, if you have 10 cents per kilowatt hour as it's currently free, you can press calculate and you can of course slide it along the way on how much cents per kilowatt hour you pay. But for example, this is 10 cents per kilowatt hour. It would take 1730 days to return a bit main and minor E3 for example and this also is for the GPU so you can check them out on the website and have some fun with it. Okay, so let's try and explain this very simple here. Also for people that are new to BuriedOne.com or Buried One Crypto Mining's YouTube channel, I'm going to tell you guys one thing. So it happened overnight. We lost about $1,000 on Bitcoins, for example, and about $70 on Ethereum. Uh, this is a pretty big impact and it was caused by a very big business bank called the Goldman Sachs and probably a lot of people are probably laughing right now as I, I, I mostly say names wrong I probably get a few comments on that one but the thing is we lost a thousand dollars worth of bitcoins but if you imagine how small the crypto world is currently at and you look at the total market cap. So we lost about 40 billion US dollars overnight. And the total market cap is hovering at about 204 billion right now, going up and down in millions per second. That is pretty normal. But actually, currencies are getting stable when there is trillions and trillions of US dollars inside them. Because if you would take out one trillion of something that is worth a hundred trillion like US dollars or something, you would only have a 1% price drop. That would be nothing. So we're talking about 40 billion dollars that dropped the price by a thousand dollars. But I'm gonna give you guys a small example here on how much money there actually is. So if you take the entire world supply of broad money, that is like uh, coins, banknotes, money on marketing accounts and savings, checkings, time deposits, but only 92% is non-physical. As you probably all know about inflation, there's only 8% physical money. You, you can have 8% of the physical money in coins and in, in, in dollar notes and euros and whatsoever. So this is all kind of uh, virtual. But this virtual money can be, of course, converted into crypto as we can put a value against the US dollars now with the bitcoins. So I'm going to give you guys an example here. So there is 90.4 trillion US dollars on broad money. Okay, so the market cap of the entire crypto was only 200 billion. So that is 450 times more than the current Bitcoin or entire crypto world. But if you take the 90.4 trillion and you would put it all into Bitcoin and, and other cryptos, you can certainly look at three to five million US dollars on a single Bitcoin. And this is where the kind of, you know, you have seen probably some interviews with really high marketing experts and they estimate Bitcoin to reach one million dollars in like a couple of years, like 20 or 30 years, probably. These guys are not joking. It can go even past that, like three to five million. So even five times their one million estimation as the entire world would adapt to cryptos. We can have a value to cryptos as well. So for example, you would go out and buy a TV. You would have to pay 30,000 Satoshis for it. And if you don't know what a Satoshi is, Satoshi is, just go and look it up on Wikipedia. 
we could put a certain value to items and vice versa. As we did before with gold and, and, and stones and rocks, we, we traded with chickens and eggs and that it was a certain value for something. We're totally going off on this, but my point is today, when there is 40 billion US dollars dropping out with a small 240 or 250 billion market cap, yes, you would see a 10 to 25 percent drop in price that is very reasonable we're only 10 years away and we have a long journey to go so hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and make sure to leave in the comments below what you think about this video and if you think it was useful because i think this was well explained to you guys so hopefully you enjoyed this video